what is aura you know you have seen pictures of saints gods goddesses okay representing you know pictures you'll have a, a head gear it's not head gear actually they depict with a color around their heads call the halo now what is that halo are they going around with light around their heads hmm? is that is that the reason why you know that light is drawn behind their heads so what is that energy. this energy Okay. And can you see that energy? Not actually. It is depicted that there is a light in goddess and all, but actually we can't see, like in person. Okay. But there is energy in our present and Okay. See now, everybody has an energy field around them. Everyone. Right, and what happens with a lot of meditative practices is this magnetic field actually increases. Okay, it's like this is what you call as the halo. Right now, for ordinary people to f see that halo is not possible. You cannot see the halo, but you can definitely feel it. Right. This is a subject called personal magnetism. Personal magnetism. Right. In small levels, all of you have experienced it. A person walks into a room, suddenly everybody is galvanized towards that person. Everybody is like attracted towards that person. <clears throat> right? That's personal magnetism. Now, personal magnetism can be in two levels. One is physical magnetism. A nice pretty girl walks into the room, everybody, tew! Nice handsome man walks into the room. Every girl goes, okay. <clears throat> that is a little bit of personal magnetism. Right? So that is physical magnetism. Now there is mental magnetism also. Right? So the person might not be physically all that, uh, you know, muscular or attractive physically. But even though when the person walks into the room, there's a sense of calm, peace, you know. and everybody is like interested in knowing more about that person. It's mental magnetism. Okay. Now the best form is a combination of both. People who are really personally magnetic, okay. high levels of personal magnetism, Okay, so if you like, look like uh, if you look at people like Krishna, if you look at people like Rama, right, we call them as gods, or we feel that they are gods okay, because of combination of both of this together. Right, personal magnetism that is it is accentuated with both. Right? That is physical as well as mental. Right? Now you are saying that oh, though they are born as gods, that's why they have them. They are born as gods. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe they are born as gods. Maybe they are not. We don't know. For certain. But we know for certain that they have all the godly powers within themselves. Okay. 
and one of this is that personal magnetism magnetism supernatural personal magnetism okay. now <clears throat> we can say that people are born with it but what all of you have to understand that <clears throat> This is a quality which all of you can develop <clears throat> to varying levels. All of you can develop this. The entire process of holistic yoga is to develop personal magnetism. Right? Or ideally any, you know, real yoga, if you are practicing real yoga, naturally that personal magnetism develops okay now let us look at more look at it in more scientific manner okay. <clears throat> so if you look at our spinal cord okay. spinal cord is like i would say an electromagnet similar right and what happens is that electromagnet is when you charge the electromagnet on both sides okay you pass electricity through the electromagnet what happens it develops a magnetic field around it right it develops a magnetic field around it <clears throat> now, in your body there is something called prana Prana is very similar to electricity. Prana is very similar to electricity. We can imbibe this prana from the atmosphere and from the food we eat, from the air we breathe in. We can imbibe this prana from the atmosphere. And this prana can be circulated within our body. Okay. Through our spinal cord and then the different nadis which is going around our body. Okay. <clears throat> These nadis are nerve channels, energy channels. We call it, it's not really nerve but very similar to the nervous system. But it is more subtler. Right. So the energy is traversing throughout the body. Prana is traversing throughout the body. And in lot of us, more than 90% of the people, okay, this prana is actually blocked in certain areas. Right. This prana is blocked in certain areas. <clears throat> I'll give you an example. You are sitting in office throughout the day. You are not physically active, but by evening you are so tired, you are mentally tired, you are exhausted, you are like wasted, totally wasted. And this is an experiment which I have done always. Okay. <clears throat> you come back from office, you start doing a little bit of asanas. Paschimottanasana, Shalabhasana, uh, Bhujangasana. You hold the poses for some time. Okay, and then you do Shavasana. After each, you hold the pose for like one minute or so plus. And then you do Shavasana after each pose. After 20 minutes of this, the pranic energy within your system Pranic energy within your system goes. Now, if you do things like Kapalbhati, Bastrika with locks on top of that, it even accelerates. Accelerates the amount of prana you get in your system. Right. So what happens is that this when you do the stretching, okay, so it is like contracting and relaxing the muscles. Okay, so one, one part of the muscle is contracted, the other part of the muscle is relaxed. That is when you stretch. 
okay and when you release what happens is that prana starts flowing again okay the prana was blocked when you contract and relax that muscle it starts flowing again okay and when that prana flow happens slowly 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 the spinal column is also energized okay we call it the pingala shushumna that entire area is slowly 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 energized so it is like doing what we call as the you know, magnetism of the electromagnet okay and this prana is there is vortexes of prana within all these seven chakras which we have okay that's why it's even called chakra right prana there's a vortex there each that's why it's called chakra it's move, movement and say accumulation of prana in certain places and like an electromagnet what happens is that when we do these exercises each one of these chakras are energized 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 magnetized 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 okay <clears throat> and this magnetism is not just limited into your body right this magnetism starts spreading out 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 the more you practice the more years of practice you have no more magnetic you become right the more years of practice you have the more magnetic you become you become courageous you become bold you, you can face any situation right you can get people to do things for you okay people start believing in you people to start trusting you okay so many effects right you are able to imbue the knowledge of yoga into other people okay people start listening <clears throat> because people feel start feeling that right and you yourself will recognize you know if you have been practicing holistic yoga for the last let's say 2 3 years you yourself will start noticing this right how your life has changed okay for some of you the life has dramatically changed i know people here whose life has dramatically changed right what they were before the practice of holistic yoga and what they are to do big difference now now these people are people who practice every day okay not twice a week if you are practicing twice a week nothing is going to happen i guarantee you that but if you are practicing every day there is going to be profound change in you okay you know there is even though people are not able to see a halo around you people will start feeling the effects people who will want to start talking to you more people will start calling you up more yeah. <clears throat> people will want to be more associated with you more okay. because in your presence they are also energized in your presence they are also energized Right. you know you might uh, see this personal magnetism works in a negative way also okay have you um, you know been with some people you have been with them for maybe let's say 5 10 minutes and you walk away you feel tired huh have you felt that huh <clears throat> that is negative magnetism <laughs> that is that is also there huh some people you talk for a few few minutes you feel energized right some people you talk for 5 minutes and you oh my god i, I want to, i want to sleep i'm feeling so tired right i'm feeling so depressed after talking to that person right that is negative magnetism right? so our idea is to increase that 
positivity and this is what holistic yoga gives you it gives you that positive energy within you it gives you that halo effect <laughs>